Hello, it's Cyberboy and um, I'm doing this video for giving tips on how to not die in um, Outpost 31 at round 20. Sorry, I'm eating. And um, so, um, first things first, first, you you shouldn't, I don't think nade is, I mean, fire nade is very useful here, here because first you're just blinding yourself like by doing the fire nade you are blinding yourself from seeing him the key is you have you should be able to see him at all times so that you would know when he's rushing in which direction you are coming to you are running to when he starts rushing also another thing another key point is um distance you should always keep your distance away from him so so that when he starts rushing because I don't know if you notice that sometimes he's facing the other direction but then all of a sudden he starts rushing at you he turns around real quick and he starts rushing at you so the key is to keep distance at all times so that when he starts rushing like that you would have more reaction time you have more time to decide whether you should go to the left or you should go to the right and speaking of going to the left or, or the right you should only go to one direction you have to you should be able to decide fast because once once he started he starts rushing like i know a lot of players try to just like stand there or crouch or whatever what i usually do is like i try to crouch spam him and move left and right and i find that 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 lowers my reaction time so I have to be able to um, move really fast also at this point as you can see I'm out of this range so there's no way he can shoot me there and right now I'm running away from him keep my distance from him also those um, I call those Ice Zombies Queen Elsa because they kind of remind me of like Queen Elsa from Frozen but um, I, you can kill them real quick by RPG you can hit them like three times I think also this time as you can see I'm just like running back and forth because okay as you notice when he shoots he shoots both of his minigun in and out when he's shooting in I try to go on, on the sides when he is shooting out just like that you want to go I don't know if you noticed that but if he's shooting out basically you want to go away from it as you can see there I had a very good reaction time I had enough time to react and decide where I want to go whether should I go to the left or should I go to the right at first, like the first few times, I really love Fire Team, and I don't even care how much EXP this gives me, whatever. But I just love Fire Team. I just, I think it's very challenging. And the first time I played this game, the first like twenty times I played this game, I don't know, maybe first hundred times I played this game, I died like a lot of times at this round, like round twenty. I thought it was just random. But then, you know, like, when I die, I don't even respond when I died. I just decided, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to observe. I'm just going to observe how this Dr. MG guy moves. Maybe I can, I can make a strategy out of that. So, from watching while I'm dead, I learned. As you can see, the more distance you have from him, the more... As you can see there, sorry, I'm like... Wait, sorry, so as you can see there, he started shooting at me, like I was right across him, like face to face. And you, I just started running to the sides. Because I want to avoid the middle, that's that's the concentration of um, his miniguns, basically. Basically, his miniguns, he t both of his miniguns overlap in the middle. So you want to stay away from that. Also, ooh, see, you see right there, I died because I was right in the middle, which is the concentration of his bullets, right? 
Uh, as I, I was going to say earlier that you should not keep your eyes off of him. You should always look at him at all times, even when you're moving, because you never know when he's going to rush. The only time you know that he's going to rush if you're looking at him, basically. It's, this round is basically just like driving. Basically, when he's shooting like that, he can't rush, so it's a good idea to get behind him or his sides out of his um, shooting range. Now the only time that you, the only time that you can um, really get your eyes off of him is that when you're taking the RPG. So you gotta do it really fast, or you can do it while he's shooting, because when he's shooting, you can't really, you can't really, um, when he's shooting, you can't really rush, right? Also, don't go too close to him because his miniguns are just stronger when you're closer. As you can see there, I was right there but I was able to dodge his rush because I had enough reaction time. As I said earlier, you can run left and right if he's both of his miniguns are in the middle, you can go to the sides, either side of him. And when he's when he's swaying both of his miniguns in to the inside, I mean like to the middle, you can that's what I just said, I'm sorry, I'm like ah As I said, you have to keep your distance away, like far away because you, that way you would have more reaction time. Sorry, I was, I was trying to say earlier is that when he is swinging both of his miniguns in, you can run to the sides, either side is fine. And when you're running, when, when he is shooting both of his miniguns to the side, you can run to the inside, to the middle. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learn from this. Thanks for watching.